Hi, welcome back to Lucent Chemistry. Today's SI Unit Scientific Notation Problem Set Lesson 1. So basically what this lesson's about is I'm taking one of my worksheets and we're going over some of the problems on that worksheet. So let's do some of these numbers right away. So we have this number of 34, it looks like 34,000. And we want to know what is the scientific notation for this. So remember that scientific notation has to have one number to the left of the decimal, and the rest of the numbers go that way. Okay, so let's clear that out real quickly. So let's see here. That means we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is 3.4 times 10 to the fourth. Okay. Let's look at the second one here. 0 0.0000. .00 0.0058. In this case, we're going to go this direction, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This gives me 5.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. Okay, let's do another one. 5, 7, 9, 8. Now, look at all these numbers. All these numbers are non-zeros. So we go 1, 2, 3, so this would be 5.798 times 10 to the third. And let's look at this one here. 8, 5, 4, 2, 3, 1. So again, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 8.54231 times 10 to the fifth. You have to include all the numbers because they're all non-zero numbers. All right, let's look at another one here. Uh, let's try this one. 0 0.936421. In this case, you just go over 1. So this is 9.36421. Remember, we only have to have one number to the left of the decimal. Times 10 to the negative 1. Okay, let's try this number. 12, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1.2 times 10 to the 6. So we're going to look at this one here. 0 0.275, 4, 3, 8, 5, 6, 3. We're going to move it over 1. This is 2.7548563 times 10 to the negative 1. Let's look at this one here. 0 0.000000092. Well, I'll help I write that correctly. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9.2 times 10 to the negative 8. And last but not least, this one here. This is going to go over 1. So this is going to be 2.6 times 10 to the first. So let's clear all these drawings here. And let's look at a different way of doing it. In this case, we're going to take scientific notation and write it back into normal numbers. So this 3.6, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Put our new decimal there. And we're simply going to fill them in with zeros. And there's our new number. Let's try this one. 7.3 times 10 to the negative third. So we're going to write 7.3. In this case, we're going to go 1, 2, 3. And there's our new number. Remember that this was negative. So negative, we go this direction. Positive, we go that direction with the decimal. OK, let's look at this one here. 8.1 times 10 to the negative 7. So you write 8.1 here, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Put our decimal there and put our zeros in. Okay, let's do just a couple more of these. Uh, let's look at 9.4 times 10 to the second. 
So 9.4, we go 1, 2. And now the answer is, of course, 940. All right, and let's do something ultimately ridiculous. So we're going to go 2.8. Well, let's keep it in true form here. 2.8 times 10 to the negative 27. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my 2.8 over here because I know I'm going to write a boatload of zeros. So we're going to go 2.8 here. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I'm going to run out of space there, so I'm going to erase this guy. Remember we're at 22, so just kind of make, remember that middle note if you don't mind. So we're at 22, and hang on for a second. Okay, here we go. Back to reality. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And put our new decimal there, and we're simply going to put zeros in. This gosh awful big number. So now you can see why we would want to use scientific notation, because it takes big, ridiculous looking numbers like I'm writing out right now, it makes them easier to use, a whole lot easier to use. So I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on moose and chemistry, and we look forward to seeing you again. Have an awesome day.